today's video, I am going to do another plant unboxing. So I have my package right here, and this is from Hertz Gardens. This is my first time ordering from them. I so far have a plant unboxing from the Sill, Gabriella's Plants, Logies. I think those are the big companies I have ordered from so far. If you have any other suggestions, you can leave them down below. If they I have heard some things about Hertz in the beginning when I first started watching some plant unboxings. I have seen some unboxing fails from Hertz Gardens, but I've heard that Hertz has improved because it's been many months since I first saw those videos, I guess. I ordered this package on September 9th. It shipped out September 10th, and then today is September 11th, so everything was very fast. But looking the package I can see that it was a little bit damaged in shipping I hope the plants are okay some of the tape is coming off let's go ahead and open it ew I just pulled it open and then there's a dead fly that kind of flew to the outside I'm gonna try to cut a piece of tape so I can stick it to the dead fly it's a small one but I was just not expecting that I should probably not be sitting on my bed to do this too, but I'm kind of limited as to the areas I can film. So they have, wait, what? Japanese Beetle Certificate of Quarantine Compliance? Ugh. That's what it says on the outside of this. I mean, I guess that's a necessary thing, but you know those Japanese beetles, aren't they the ones that are kind of blind and run into you? If you watched my variegated monster repotting video, at one point at the end with the bloopers, that's what we were running from. It has a bunch of bubble wrap or whatever this is called. So you can probably see what it is now, and it looks like it's a healthy plant. I... I'm questioning whether or not I actually want to pull it out right here because I'm sitting on my bed that has white bedding and yeah, it looks a little messy in here, which is fine because I mean a plant went through shipping, but I'm going to see if I can do my best to show you. So here is one of them. This is a really full plant. This is in a six inch, I believe. This is a Monstera adansoni. Some of the leaves are pretty wet, some are squished, but this Monstera adansoni is so full. This was $27.99. And look at that. I have a cutting of a Monstera adansoni when I did a plant swap with my friend Sarah on Instagram. And it's grown a lot since, but I do want large trailing plants like this for when we move in to our new place. There's actually two in here and I'm gonna have to pull out the other one too. The reason why I ordered it is because my friend has birthday coming up and now she's into houseplants and she wanted a Monstera and so I. I have to pay for shipping anyways. I figured I would just order the one that I wanted too. I was gonna wait on it before we move in, but this is a gorgeous plant. It is wrapped with a bunch of newspaper and it's just taped trying to contain the soil. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to rinse off the leaves and everything, do my thing with the plant spray. If you've watched any of my videos, I'm sure you've seen that before. I'm gonna... Just stick this right back in the box and then I'm gonna check on the other one because there's two in here. One's hers, one's mine. But I'm impressed for $27.99. That's a really large Monstera Adansoni. So I had to set it down in order to take the second one out. Here's the second one. It looks like it's not as full, but it's still pretty full. It looks like the leaves are okay. There are just some squish ones down here with a little bit of yellowing. I'm gonna have to take a better look afterwards, but overall I would say this is a good experience. I'm really happy this was not a fail unboxing. I would order from them again because I think their prices are pretty reasonable for what it is. I have not seen these in stores yet. I know a lot of people are finding them in Home Depot and stuff just as people are finding rapid offer and test spermas in the Home Depot which I still have not found. I'm normally not one to want multiples of the same plant but for, for trailing plants I think it's in a different category for me just because I want my future home to have just large trailing plants on the wall. So in order to do that, I might have to have some repeats. I see some new growth in there and I'm gonna have some close ups for when I clean them up. Okay, so these two are now in the bathtub and I just sprayed them both down. This one is the much smaller one, but if you take a look at some of the leaves, I'm gonna turn it around here. Some of the leaves are very large. Like if you check out this one right here, look at that compared to my hand. It's beautiful. The fenestrations are really nice in them. You can see it here too. 
So I just sprayed everything down. I'm gonna leave it here for a second and then wipe them down. Um, so this one is more compact and then I see some new growth here and here. So they both look like they're probably gonna grow really fast. The fenestrations are massive than this one. Wow, that's a nice leaf right there. That's that one, the compact one. And then this one is the much larger one. But it's, as you can see, it's kind of all over the place. This one is just doing its own thing over here. This one is wanting to trail already because it's such a large one. But you can see they're both really full if you compare the two. You can clearly see the size difference between this one and that one. But they're both really nice considering that I paid $27.99 for each plant and then I don't remember how much shipping was but I can put it here. It's so nice. I've actually been eyeing this for a while because whenever I see them in stock at Hertz.com I will put it in my cart and then I always talk myself out of it but I knew that my friend wanted one for her birthday so I decided to go ahead and get it and because I had to apply for shipping I figured I would just get mine too. I'm gonna give her a choice. They're so nice. Here is the Monstera Adinsona that I already had, and this is from a plant trade. This one looks like it is the narrow form, if you can take a look at the fenestrations here. If you compare that to the one that I just unboxed, it looks like the one that I unboxed is the regular form. And now I am happy to have both forms. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, everyone. Okay. There. Just hit myself in the face. Oh, my gosh. This is not good. My hands are dirty. My hair is stuck to the- Ow! So far, this is a little bit of an unboxing fail.